with 6,200. And Scotty, is it still accurate? Fewer than 900 now remaining, and that's it for the season. So I forgot to mention this at the top of the show, but you know, while a lot of us have you know placed our orders, kind of reserved our you know flowers and plants back in January, February, or March. If you're just joining us, because I'm that gardener that I don't I don't get plants until it's like April. Yeah, right. I have to I have to wait to the warm weather uh -huh. to be inspired. These are really our final quantities of the season because we're bringing you um, because we're bringing you Mother Nature plants and flowers. We only have one order and that's it so real quick update because I made a mistake on how many we have remaining we started this season with 6,200 we have fewer than 500 mm. now remaining so what's really special about this because I'm noticing tons of variety yeah. here well you know we love having fun out here yeah talking about plants but I have a kind of a serious topic to discuss real quick okay and that is the monarch butterflies yes. which we all love everyone you know you think of the monarch butterflies it reminds you of summer good times you know being outside the sad truth is back in 1990 there was about a billion monarch butterflies that would migrate from north america down to mexico every single year last year there was about 50 million Ooh. so the monarch butterfly population has been really on the decline for numerous reasons yeah but what this plant is, this is the butterfly bouquet. Now this is the only plant that the monarch butterflies will actually lay their eggs on. So by wow. planting these in your gardens, yeah. you can help the monarch butterfly population come back and start to thrive yet again. Well, this is what is so cool about that because when you think about the monarch butterfly, that is one of the most stately butterflies. Totally. One of the most, I mean, that's the kind of butterfly that if you are 105, you were brought back yeah. to when you saw it for the first I time know. when you were five. So when you see this six piece collection, not only are you kind of doing well for Mother Nature and all of its inhabitants, but you're getting six different pieces. So it's two different varieties, right. three of each kind. You're getting both the orange Cura and the pink Soulmate. Now, these varieties, these are hybrid varieties that have been specifically designed to be extremely fragrant these plants are they kind of smell like a butterfly bush if okay. you're from a lot yeah. of people know the fragrance of a butterfly bush it's so sweet and I used wonderful to have some from you guys until we yes left. well Chuck, <laughs> now, now you can them up from the yard <laughs> now you can put these in your garden instead and you can see the monarch butterflies cannot resist them now I love these plants because they're native to North America mm -hmm. so what that means is that they are perfect for every garden in the country and what I really love about them is that they're honestly the most gorgeous shrub in your garden you know every garden needs kind of the shrubs but yeah. most of the time people just put like green shrubs these will be flowering shrubs that flower from June to October every wow. single year so June July August, September, Up October, to five months. it's five yeah. months of blooms. And you know, when you see the color varieties and I think of warm weather, these always remind me of like the colors of sherbet that are always like I know, so rare right. on yeah. the ice cream truck. You're like, do you have any sherbet? But <laughs> then you see the dimension because I feel like much like you expect a butterfly to kind of flutter in and flutter away, the petals, the colors, they kind of flutter in the dimension. Mm -hmm. I mean, each bloom is incredibly sizable. Yeah. they're extra large flower umbel we call them flower umbels it's basically a stem that produces all these mini individual flowers so it looks like one large like right there you can see that's a, a ton of individual little flowers yeah. and for that reason these flower umbels are so full of nectar that the monarch awesome. butterflies love them but also the hummingbirds and the bees so this is a really great way to bring the pollinators into your garden to make sure that all of your plants are pollinated, but also to just enjoy their gorgeous flowers each year. And I love the way that they cluster, especially from um, a garden placement perspective, because like in my garden right now, like we have the hydrangeas and mm -hmm. that's the only yeah. one in our yard that yeah, has yeah, those yeah. really great clusters. And now you kind of get the two different varieties, three of each, and mm -hmm. yet, is this a perennial or is it an this annual? This is a wonderful perennial. It's winter hardy to about negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So you plant it right in the earth. You know, they love the full sun. Okay. So plant it uh, like along your borders at the along your walkways is a great area if you have a so perennial in the front flower of the bed garden. yeah because they only grow about three feet tall and three feet wide okay and what we have here is this is about this is two plants in this planter right here at the and end of the first season how big of season, a hole did you dig like six six inches just a few few inches about okay. three to four inches deep and you see 
This plant, we've been growing this since last summer. It's a really sizable plant. Isn't that gorgeous? The root system is so beautiful. You know that you're gonna get a wonderful plant the first season. You're not starting with seeds right. that you have to, you know, Hope maybe they're prayer. maybe they're gonna work, maybe they're gonna live, and and then wait two years to get flowers. No, you're gonna be getting these gorgeous flowers this first year both the pink and the orange, three plants of each. And we'll still get the same height the first year? Yeah, these will each grow wow. about three feet tall and three feet wide, each you know, plant. I think there's some areas around your house sometimes that you just want to hide. Like we have these yeah. cinder blocks that are like, oh my God, they've been forever, what yeah. do I put there? And this is something that like, while you get the greenery story, you get the incredible color of blooms. And I love that it like, especially when you see these pictures right here, you can't tell where like the plant begins, where the florals end and where they start. It's it's really well spaced out with color and greenery. It's a really gorgeous plant and I love it not only for their gorgeous flowers that you're seeing, but also because they really are the only host plant for the monarch butterflies. Awesome. So if you want to do your part and help the monarch butterflies like that thrive once again in the country, it's yeah. a, it's a really it's a surefire way to do it. Um, and it couldn't be easier or more beautiful in your garden. Well, we started the season with 6,200. We now have fewer than 300 to go around and that's it for the season. So while I love when we have our gardening shows in April, cause I mean, here's the thing, I present them in January and February, but I'm like, y'all, it's snowing outside. And so many times I've kicked myself and I'm like, I missed a lemon tree, yeah. I missed this. Now's your opportunity while we have a few more remaining to pick up the phone, dial 1-800-500-7590 because everything that you see in the show, it's our only order of the season because we can't place an order for this in July. The season is over. This is going to get shipped out to you when your zone's appropriate and ready. And as you heard Devin say, I mean, you talk about a sizable perennial. This is one of those that when you think about two different varieties, you get three of each kind. Mm -hmm. They spread two feet they get two feet in height. We're taking up a lot of space in your garden where anywhere else you'd have to buy yeah. multiple plants that would be very underwhelming. This is spectacular. It's a really gorgeous plant and most gardeners, they realize you start, you start actually planting plants into your garden, you realize you need a few more than you originally thought. Always. Always. That's <laughs> why it's really the best bet to get a couple of collections. Yes. And with these special hybrids, you cannot grow wrong. Well, and I was telling Court, you know, a lot of times when you find something this size that has this color and this kind of spread, you know, you go to a big box store if they even have something like this and you're like, okay, I measured it out I need five and then you get there and they have two yeah. and you have to fill in with yeah. things that you didn't plan for that you're not really excited about and to your point when you get these plants home they're completely gorgeous they're almost a foot tall and it's like you don't have to stick a stake in the ground and be like here is you, the butterfly yeah <laughs> you're all, you're starting with a beautiful plant and it's just gonna get more gorgeous as the season progresses these produce flowers for four to five months every yeah. single year so we started the show with 6,200. We now have fewer than 300 remaining. It ships to your door for free. Two different varieties, three of each kind. If you want to place an order, 1-800-500-7590. All right, still to come. We have a nine piece hardy succulent ice plant collection. Okay, can we talk about how this succulent has some of the most incredible blooms? Look at that. They're like fireworks going off in this ground cover. This is a nine piece collection that ships to your door for less than $35. Again, ships to your door for free. Oh my God, that is absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. In 53074, can I tell you how bad I want to go to the beach? I looked at that little live sign that was up in the corner and I thought, I'm like, are we feedings yeah. from somewhere fabulous? Yeah, I wish. I'm like, oh I man, wish. is that at the beach? Well, <laughs>